You gave me the kiss of life. Mm. Kiss of life. My name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you a Valentine's Day tutorial. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back to paint with me. And before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. So before we get started, I am going to go over a few things. Again, we are doing a Valentine's Day tutorial. This painting is dedicated to the lovers. It's not limited to the lovers, but it is dedicated to the lovers and Valentine's Day. So a few things you're going to need before we get started. Of course, you're going to need your paint. And I do pour all mine right on a, on a plate and I work with acrylic paint. The colors I'm using are um, titanium white, Mars black, bright red, phthalo blue, raw sienna, and then chrome yellow. You're going to also want some different size acrylic brushes and a small water cup with cool water so you can wash your brushes out and then also a paper towel to dry them off on because you don't want to mix water with acrylic paint. And if you're 21 and up, you know what to do. Paint and sip, boo. Duh, can't do the painting without the sipping and without your lover. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So today I'm working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, again, you can do whatever size canvas you'd like, but I am using a 16 by 20 inch. And as you can see, this painting is actually completely sketched out. So I'm going to actually um, put a picture of the sketch in the in this tutorial. That way you can freeze it and draw it out on your canvas. Or if you have a projector, you can always um, take a screenshot of the image and project it onto your canvas. I did draw mine out in Sharpie marker. Um, you can draw yours out in pencil first. And then if you want to go around it, um, go over it in a Sharpie marker, you definitely can. But the pencil lines will work just fine. And it'll be easier to erase if you make any mistakes. So again, you just want to get your image on your board. And then once you have that, all we're going to do is we're going to start by just simply filling in our backgrounds. Now on this painting, there is only... A little piece of the background showing so I'm gonna use my biggest brush and I'm gonna make pink so I'm using um, white and a little bit of red you can do your background whatever color you want whatever color your bae wants it's up to you and I'm just painting right around the top of his head uh, because that's the only place that this is going to be showing So I'm just going to get this filled in. And as we're, as we're working on this, what's your Valentine's Day plans? Are you going to be painting and sipping? Do you have some other quarantine plans, um, you know, you came up with for Bay? Let me know. Drop down your plans in the comments. All right. So I have that filled in. And um, again, as you can see, this is completely sketched out. So filling in this painting is going to be really simple. What I'm going to do next is I want to get her skin tone filled in. So I want to get hers filled in first because he kind of covers over her a bit. So I want to get hers filled in first. And I'm making her a bit of a lighter complexion. So I'm going to be mixing brown, white, and a little bit of yellow. You can make her whatever shade you like. So for example, I am working with the raw sienna. If you like this raw sienna how it is, you can use it as is. If you want to lighten it up for a really lighter shade, you can mix brown and white. If you're going for more of just like a caramel shade, you can mix brown, yellow, and white. And when you're mixing these, you do want to make sure to mix a good amount right on your plate. So again, if you're going for more of a caramel shade, 
you can mix brown, yellow, and white. Or if you're going for a darker shade, if you want more of a chocolate lover, you can do um, brown and a little bit of black. Keep in mind that the black does turn dark really quickly, so you don't have to add a lot. A little bit will really do, and if you if it's still not as dark as you want it, you can always add more. And I'm actually going to show you that over here. So whichever shade you decide to go with is completely up to you. But once you choose your shade, you're going to start to fill in everything like around her eyes, around her mouth. You're filling in her entire um, chest area, her arm here, and then also her arm over here. So we're just going to work on getting her skin tone filled in. And then in a few, we're going to come back and work on his skin tone. Now that we have our lady completely filled in, um, now we can go ahead and move on to our guy. And for my guy, I'm gonna be doing more of a chocolate, um, darker brown skin tone. So I'm mixing up that brown and a little bit of black. Again, if you're gonna be mixing that color, just work with a little bit of black and then add just a small amount more if you feel like it's not as dark as you want it. And I'm still working with my bigger brush. As I'm working on his skin tone, one thing that kind of helps you get their skin filled in really nicely is making sure you do those longer strokes. And as you're doing the face area, if you get anything inside of those marks, don't worry. Um, you'll be able to paint over it once we start that part. But you can also switch to a smaller brush to go around those facial areas if you'd like. So... I'm just gonna work on getting him filled in and then I'm gonna come back and start the next step with you all. Once you finish up with your guy, we do want to give it a few minutes to dry before we start to add in any of the other details um, because we want everything to be completely dry. That way you don't make any mistakes or smudge any of the paint. So we're just going to let it dry for about five to 10 minutes. If you're impatient, remember you can grab a blow dryer and you can blow dry it. Um, but if you're going to give yourself a break and let it dry for about five to 10 minutes, Make sure you pour yourself a glass of wine, enjoy your valentine, um, and then we'll start on the next step in a few minutes. One eternity later. So now that our paintings are completely dry, I'm gonna go in and start to add some more details. So I am switching to a smaller brush for this part because I'm gonna be filling in the color of her lips and her nail there that's showing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix up some red, some blue, and a little bit of white because I want to make a purple 
um, and, and I'm going to use that color for her nail and for her lips. And if you want to use a different color, you definitely can make this as personal as possible. Um, but again, I'm using purple and I'm going to go ahead and get her lips filled in. And then I am going to fill in her nail as well. Hey, look at me. I'm a, a painter and a poet. Her nail as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm filling in this little thumbnail here. And then from there, what I'm going to fill in next is the biggest areas. So I'm going to be filling in both of their hair um, with just simply with black. If you want to fill it in with a different color, you definitely can. I'm going to fill his in first. And I did switch to more of a bigger flat brush. You can use a bigger flat brush or a medium brush. It's completely up to you. Make sure you give him a nice hairline there. And then I am going to go in on my girl and get her hair filled in as well. And this entire area here is all her hair. She has some really big curly hair going on and he's all up on it, loving it. She must have used his favorite shampoo today. And although I'm doing black, you honestly can do whatever color you like. Whether it be red, blonde, um, brown, whatever color works best for you. And one thing I'm going to also do to her hair, I'm going to add in, um, I'm going to add in like some curls. I'm going to add in a different color to give her like some curl texture. I want to get those waves for those baby hairs. If you can't tell, <laughs> I'm a fan of baby hairs, you know. Might be the queen of baby hairs, the queen of edges, who knows? Uh, but I do want to make sure I get that nice wavy line. And I'm going to fill it completely in. And what I'm going to do for my color, um, you can use white. You can use a little bit of white and don't wash your brush off when you add the color. A little bit of white, um, red, black. Uh, brown red and black with um, this or you can do brown I'm gonna be adding a little bit of brown and all I'm gonna do is kind of move my brush around in a circle some pieces are gonna stick out some pieces are gonna blend in more and that's completely fine but I'm just moving my brush around in a circle almost like I'm creating like a swirl um, because I want to give it some curl texture so that it's not just flat black. I want to give it a little bit of curl texture. And again, this part is optional. If you want it to be just black or just the solid color of whatever shade you choose, it is completely up to you. But what you also want to do for her, I'm going to go in with a couple smaller little baby hairs or strands of hair. And I'm doing that with a really teeny tiny brush. And you can use um, brown and black or you can use just black or whatever color you use for her hair already. And all I'm doing is I'm starting inside of the edges and I'm just pulling some little curls out. Same thing on this little sideburn there. I'm going to pull a couple out by the top here. And I'm just very lightly doing this. So I'm very lightly kind of moving my brush around in a circle or you can even just brush some out like that 
It's completely up to you. But once you have that part done, all I'm going to do is now I'm going to go in and fill in both of their uh, facial features. And I'm just filling their facial features in with black, still using the smallest brush. So once you're um, once you finish up with that, you can go ahead and start to fill in their facial features with a small brush and just black paint. So we have their facial features filled in. Again, I just used that smallest brush to fill in both of their facial features with black. I'm going to continue using that small brush because what I'm going to do next, I am going to give everything an outline. So if you like yours at the point where it is, you definitely don't have to outline it. It's completely up to you. But I am going to outline mine um, just to really bring out their features so that you can really see the difference between them and also to clean it up if you feel like um at any point you went outside of the stencil or that some of your edges are not completely painted you this really helps clean it up so i do suggest doing the outline um the outline is a little more difficult for people that don't have a really steady hand. But what I like to do is I like to hold my brush closer to the end. So closer to the bristles here. And I try to find a dry space on my canvas and place my pinky finger down. And from there, I just slowly guide my brush. So I'm going over all of those lines that we started with. So the sketch, the marker lines. And you really just want to take your time with this part. Um, that way you don't make any mistakes. But if you do make a mistake, no worries. No worries. We're just having fun. We're not expecting these um, to be, you know... A masterpiece like Picasso or anything <laughs> or Van Gogh or nothing like that um, we're just having fun with our Valentine's so I'm just getting all of these lines filled in um, and again this really helps like it really helps clean it up you can go back into areas where you feel like it wasn't lined correctly or the paint just isn't filled in how you want it. You just really have to take your time with this outline. One um, tip too, as you're doing this, if you feel like the paint is a little too thick for you to work with, or it's not kind of gliding on there how you would like, add a little water to some of your black paint. And I know I said we don't mix water with acrylic paint, but for this part, um, we can mix it just to thin the paint down just a bit because thinning the paint down is going to allow you to get an even thinner line and it allows the paint to really just glide on there. So if you find a steady spot and just glide your hand, the paint goes on so much smoother that way. And if you decide to use that um, to use that step or that tip, um, make sure not to mix too much water. You don't want it like running down your canvas. You don't even want it running across the plate. You just want it to be a little thinner than the paint that you started with. Finish up 
finish up this last line. And you see how it just, it really just cleans it up. Um, and just, you know, it makes it stand out. It makes it pop more. So, who doesn't want a pop and pan? Um, but once you are finished with that step, the last thing that I'm going to do is just simply adding details. Like if you want to give them earrings, um, if you want to give her a necklace, if you wanted him to have like a bracelet or a watch, or even if you wanted to add any details on the nail, you definitely can. All I'm going to do is give them some, um, earrings and I'm doing that by taking my small brush and I'm dipping the back end of it into white paint. And for her, I'm going to do a little stud and then a small stud next to it like she has a second hole. I'm going to also give her a little nose ring. And I'm going to do the same for him. I'm going to give him a little stud. And if you wanted to, like, if you want him to have a nose ring, maybe Bay has a nose ring. You can give him a nose ring too. Or again, if you want to give her a necklace, if you want to give him a watch or give her... Um, a bracelet or a watch it's completely up to you but once you have added all of the details that you want and your valentine's day painting is complete make sure the very last thing that you do is simply use your smallest brush to sign your name i'm just signing my initials right in the corner you can do your initials your signature you know if you want to put your name on bay you can do it however you like. Just make sure that you sign your painting so that everyone knows this is your masterpiece. Thank you all so much for painting with me. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a very beautiful and lovely Valentine's Day with whomever you choose to spend it with. And I will see you all in the next tutorial. If you have anything that you would like to see painted, make sure you leave it down in the comments and make sure you turn on your post notifications because I am gonna be doing one more Valentine's Day tutorial before Valentine's Day. And I'm also gonna be doing a black history painting this month so again make sure you turn on those post notifications and keep in mind you can find all of this supplies at michael's or any arts and crafts store or if you would like a pre-packaged kit you can find this kit and many others on our website paintpartydet.com see you in the next tutorial